Hey guys, I'm Jeff with the Embroidery Nerd, and today we will be working on name drops, particularly Impulse DG16. Now, what we will be doing today is we'll be writing out a list of names, we'll be assigning color stops to each name, and we'll be putting those names on top of each other, so that when you're ready to run on the machine, you just put it on the machine, you hit start, it stops at the color change, you change out the garment, and you sew on the next uh, name. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, normally when I go to create a new doc, document I come up here and I click on new we won't be doing that today we'll actually be using the file new because I want to go I want to show you guys this new design wizard if we click on new design wizard it's going to help us create a new design by guiding the user through a series of questions so let's go ahead and get started the first thing it's going to ask us is the recipe now if we click that down you can actually see that recipes are different materials that you'll be sewing on Today, we'll be using peak mater PK material, peak material, I'm not quite sure how you say that, but we'll be using that. There are others in here like sail, t-shirt, satin. We'll just be using PK. Now, if we look here, you can see that it's setting the compensation, the fill densities, the overlaps, the overlap lines. So it's setting all the values for us that they would use to sew on this type of material. Now we can go through more questions, but really I'm just here to get this recipe. So I'm going to click on finish and it's going to create a new file and it's going to set all of those, um, deep, those settings as default for what we're going to create. Now I want to create my names. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the text tool up here and I am going to left click. I'm going to shift to lock it on an axis and I'll click again and I'll hit enter. And it's going to pop up this text box. Now this is where we're going to enter in each name. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'm going to do Jeff. I'm going to put a tilde in there. I believe that's what it's called. So what that's going to say is it's going to say that you need to put in a color change right here. So that's kind of our denotion. We could just do enters and insert stop between lines, but I'm going to use that today. Justin, Matt, and I'm going to spell Matt's name right, right? It's all about doing it right. We'll hit enter. We can do some other names like Joe, um, Adam, right? So now we've got these different names. We can go ahead and hit OK. And so now you can see that it's stacked all these number, all these names vertically, which is perfectly OK. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're going to set our height that we want our text to sew at. Right now it's at 25 millimeters, which is roughly an inch. I'd like to set that a little bit lower, so I'm going to put it down to... Uh, let's say 15 millimeters and that's going to shrink up our text. So to get this to stack on top of each other, I'm going to go over and I'm going to go to my line spacing, which is at 25%. Now this is the space that it has between lines. If we change this value, like let's say I change it to 50%, you're going to see that all of those objects spaced out a little bit further. If I change this to 100%, they're going to get really far apart. But what's really cool is we can assign negative values in here too. So I'm going to go to a negative 100 value and you can see that it just stacked all that text right on top of each other. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. Now this may look really, really confusing, but this is, can be an advantage when we go run this on the machine. And this is how. If we hit play, you can see that it's going to do the very first name and then we're going to stop at the color change right there. So it did the first name. Let's pull out our sequence view and I'm going to pin that. And there we go. So it did the first name, right? And then it goes to do, it'll do, the machine will stop. It'll do the first name, the machine will stop, and then we'll allow it to sew the second name. So we would change out our items in between there. It'll do the second name. We'll go ahead and program a stop on the machine. So now we can enter our next garment and we can run our third name right there. And then we'll do our fourth name. And then we'll do our fifth name. So this can be really, really helpful if you have to do a bunch of names in the same location on a garment. You can just stack them all in Pulse like this, export one file, send that to the machine, and away you can go. All right, guys, if you like our content, you can go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe button. You can hit that little bell for notifications, too. You can find us over on Facebook at the Embroidery Nerd Group, also on Discord to join the conversation. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time.